guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George. And as you can see, we're not in Aiken, South Carolina right now. We're in Highlands, North Carolina at the beautiful Old Edwards Club. One of my favorite courses, honestly, that I've ever played. It's a pure mountain course, it's a lot of fun. A lot of birdies can be made, but also a lot of, a lot of trouble is lurking off the mountainside. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna see this back nine. It's crazy, it's awesome, it's a lot of fun, it's beautiful. Uh, with that being said, let's head to the 10th tee. Let's make some birdies today and let's have some fun. Let's go. Before we get going though, here's Jordan. He is the head pro here, absolute legend. Anyway, <laughs> I need tips for the back nine. I need you on our par, give me some tips and like, what are the keys to success, for my success? On the back nine, it's uh, it's really all about placement off the tee. Um, you gotta put yourself in the right spots. Driver is not necessary. Uh, you mean it is necessary? <laughs> well, it's fun. <laughs> it's okay, definitely fun. Okay. And there's a couple of them where, uh, you know, if the if the tees are up a little bit, you can drive the greens, uh, 12, 18, okay. stuff like that. So it, you, you can uh, you can grip and rip it out there a little bit, but it, if you, you don't put it in the right spot, you can be in a little bit of trouble too. All right, Jordan, thank you. You got it. Now we're heading to the back nine. All right, here we go. Hole 10, par five, 470. So it's, a, it's definitely a scoreable hole to start you off on this back nine at Old Edwards. What a day, it's absolutely insane. It's like 60 degrees out here in November, whew. Uh, but about the course, so we're sitting at 4,000 feet elevation, so that means the ball is gonna go about a half club uh, further because it's a little cooler today, um, eight to 10% usually. So we're gonna be hitting a half club less than I usually do, just because of elevation. The greens just recently were punched, they might be a little slower, but the rest of the course is phenomenal. All right, here we go, 175 uphill. Playing about 165 due to elevation, we're going eight iron. Oh, it's gotta go. I should hit seven, I think. Oh, back? Yeah, just short. That's fine. So this is what makes mountain golf in Old Edwards difficult, tricky, and a lot of fun. So I had 175 there, adjusted to about 185 uphill. But we're at 4,000 feet, so you gotta take about 10 yards off. So then it's playing about 172-ish, 70-ish, um, downwind. So there's a lot of factors going on there. So usually it would probably be a seven iron, but because the elevation it was eight, Probably should hit seven anyway. You should have a lot of different shots. You gotta use your mind, you gotta think, you gotta trust. Um, but we are in a good position. Short of the screen is fine to uh, chip from. And hopefully uh, get, up, get up and down for birdie. Just look at this view. There's the front nine down there. I mean, look how pretty. There's 18 green that we'll be hitting to shortly. But yeah, this is, this is why I love this course. Whoa! Whoa! Good birdie. These greens are sanded and they're punched, but I'm telling you, they roll really smooth. Yeah, they're not as fast as they usually are, but they still run really smooth. Anyway, one under after one, good start. On pace for nine under. <laughs> All right, there you go, hole 11. You see 193 there, but it is down legitimately 35 yards. I mean, look at that pin. So it's 194 playing like 160. It's insane. All right, so we got nine iron. It's playing about 160, but we're just gonna guess. We're gonna hit nine iron smooth and see what happens. Be right. Be a one. On the green, that is all you're trying to do on this hole. Just to give you guys a sense of where I hit from, I hit from way back up there, and then here is the, the green. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, last revolution, Randy. But we did make par, heading to hole 12, one under. Here we go, hole 12, and then there is the green. It's like 350 adjusted to like 290. We're definitely sending a driver, we're going for it. Oh, I caught it thin, it needs to go. It needs to go, it needs to go. Come on. Not on the green. But we are, we're on grass. Holy cow, that's what, that's what I love about mountain golf is, so I had 350 yards adjusted to like 290 because of downhill. But then you gotta take into consideration the 10% rule. So 10% of 290 is 29. Subtract that from 290, that gets like 261. Into the wind, and so I was like, well, I guess we're gonna hit driver, I have no clue. People, 
we got a chipped eagle. Um, yeah, that's mountain golf for you. And um, this is the beautiful thing about Old Edwards. You get a mix of mountain holes, and then you get a mix of just normal, kind of regular golf holes that don't have crazy elevation. So, right on, right on, right on. All right, as you can see, beautiful hazard. I mean, it's pretty, the stream is running. Uh, it's really pretty, but that's hazard. You don't want to be there. Hazard, you don't want to be there. And not a lot of area to work with, but thank goodness we found green grass. And we have this chip right there for Eagle. Yes, 200 through three, but this is where the course gets tricky for me. These next few holes are pretty tough and challenging. Just time to buckle up for me. This is a tough hole. 457 into the wind. I'm gonna try to hit this peel cut hybrid um, and just play it right at the center of the fairway. We're play. All right, so the tough thing about this hole is it's a long hole, 457. Um, you want to hit driver so you can have a short club in, but hazard runs all the way up the left, and if you hit it, honestly, about 260 shot, kind of straight, it's going to go in the hazard. But if you try to take too much of the dog leg off, there's trees and there's stuff that just gets lost. Balls get lost super easily, so it's a really tough one that if it's downwind or no wind, I'm probably hitting four iron, just going to have five or six iron into. But say it's in the wind, I was like, okay, got to hit hybrid. But in the wind, high hybrid. I'm probably gonna have about two bills left into this hole, so it's, it's just a good, um, solid par four. All right, so let's see here, 210. So 10% of 210, 21, 210 minus 21 is 189, I believe, is that correct? Mark me on that, yep, that's correct. Um, 189, five iron, six iron? We're gonna get six, we're gonna, hit, we're gonna go six iron. Actually, we're going audible, we're going five iron, a high, kind of soft five iron. Oh, you're right. Shot was great, but look at this divot. That is what dreams are made of. All bent grass everywhere, love it. And yeah, ball is right there on the front of the green. All right, so the whole course is bent grass, uh, which is, for someone like me from South Carolina, a real treat. I don't get this much, so it's, honestly, there's not a few things that are better than hitting nice, crispy divots from bent grass fairways. You guys know that. If y'all are lucky enough to play bent grass fairways, you know, when you strike that perfect iron shot, something about it. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a really good five iron, just a slight fade. Probably about 25 feet for birdie. I know this might sound silly, we got six iron, it's 340, but super dog legs, super blocked off around the green. Uh, I'm just gonna hit six iron and hopefully keep it uh, in front of those trees out there. I'll give you a reason why I hit six iron. So, right over that corner of that water, you can hit hybrid, you can carry that with a hybrid and won't go through the fairway, but if you block it a little right, as we scoot on over here, you can see that there's just still water everywhere. Um, so that's bad. And if you hit four iron or something off this tee, you can honestly hit it over the, over the cart path into the woods. Um, so it's really, it's an easy hole, but it's a little trickier than uh, you might think. And being at elevation, you know, the ball's going for farther, so even if I have 160 or 150 into this hole, it's still going to be a pitch wedge or 9 iron, so I still have a score club into this green. But the one kicker is, there's this overhanging tree, and if the pin's on the back right of the green, I'm telling you, I don't I think it's back right. I don't think I can get this, uh, get this pin. We'll find out. All right, so I got 150 adjusted to about 138 or so, going full pitch and wedge. Oh, get through the tree. Please get through the tree. Get lucky. <laughs> I just got so lucky. I mean, as you can see, distance pretty good. Distance actually really good. And uh, but look at that thing. Like, there's no way. Tiger Woods probably is not getting that over that tree, the wedge. But nonetheless, got a good chip at birdie. Need, need my putter, though. A solid par there. Um, actually, really good putt. That four, those four footers when the greens are punched, 
really test you. Honestly, the key though is you need to commit and hit a firm and not aggressive stroke, but just a, a trusting stroke. And that's what I did there. I was like, okay, right center, firm, trust it, don't worry about it. If it goes in, it goes in. If it misses, you know, that's fine. But that's the key is really not putting your weight on if it goes in or not, but really if you just hit a good um, committed stroke. And that's what I did there. So moving on to the 14th hole, minus two. And by the 14th, I meant the 15th hole, which is my sixth hole today. Played five, I'm two under, playing good, playing good. Here we go. Nothing more than just, oh, it's so pretty. I mean, I love mountains, goodness gracious. But it's just a hybrid and hit it solid and uh, go to the next shot. Whoa, where are you going? Oh, this ball, great angle of the pin. As you can see, it's just perfectly, I mean, anyway, the pin's right over there. Yowza. So I do have 83 yards, adjusted about 75. Gonna hit, honestly, probably a 70 yard shot and let it just kind of release back there. What a shot. Don't break an ankle, don't break an ankle. I think I get like eight feet, 10 feet. Yes. I threw it back to a lesson from dad. So he said, on hilly lies, just find your center. And honestly, that's all I was thinking there is find my center, commit to the shot, and move on. And I think you got a pretty good looking birdie. Yes. There we go. Landed right here and then trundled right on there. But this is, a, when the greens are fast, this is a great green. This whole part of the green slopes hard this way. And if you get something landed up here, it'll spin all the way down to right there in the front of the green. Then you got the back part of the green that's kind of severe as well, so it's a really, really fun green. Hey, people, three birdies so far? Three le three left? Can we birdie the last three? Which would be birdie the last four? Here we go, hole 16, great hole, 410. I know it's kind of short, but into the wind, kind of a narrow fairway, so I'm gonna hit three wood, kind of right center. Oh, God. Three. We got spinny right. Yep, RIP ball. It was coming. Actually, probably landed maybe on the path right here. Yep, there she goes. In this. So we're going to take a drop right here. We got 140 to the pin. Hey, beautiful hole though. 140 playing about 125. 130-ish. Pitch wedge. Well, caught a root. That's uh... What? Ooh. Kind of dug a little bit and kicked it to the left. Oh boy. Hit a root, club face turned over, went left. Now we're gonna have a difficult up and down to uh, hopefully salvage bogey. How good does my putting stroke feel? Yes. You know, I think there's something to be said about why I'm putting so good today. Sorry, I'm gonna go off a tangent real quick. But I don't think I've missed any putts that have been inside 10 feet or eight feet. And that's because I'm not trying to make it. I'm only trying to hit a good stroke. I'm not worried about the result because A, if it misses, you know, the greens are punched, so I just move on. Where normally, like normal rounds of golf, perfect greens, I'm like, oh, I gotta make a six footer. And I'm trying too hard to make the putt, where today I'm just trying to hit a good stroke. So it's really cool. Maybe I, uh, Maybe I'm learning a thing or two today. But anyway, head to the 17th hole, my eighth of the day, 200 par. If you guys ever get a chance to play here, definitely uh, make your way to Old Edwards. You, you will not regret it. One of the more fun golfing, golfing experiences out there. So, hole 17, as you can see right there. 154, so we'll go with a nine iron, question mark. All right, so here we go, the 17th hole, par three, 155 on the card, but with the elevation, we're gonna play about a 145 shot. Um, gonna have to play a cut nine iron. Those overhanging trees, they are in place. So we're gonna have to play a cut around them. Can't tell if it's just short or if it's on the front. It's a good swing. Ah, can't tell. Can't tell. One thing I do know though, that divot. Hmm. Love it. Hey, there we go. Put it birdie in its own pitch mark. Thank you very little. Right to left her. Let's roll it in for birdie. No! All 
right, heading to the 18th hole, which will be drivable. Minus two, 200 par. Hey, low key, if I burn the last hole, I hit that 300, I, 300 number 32 that um, Jordan predicted. So, hey, I don't know. Let's find out. There it is, 4,100 feet. That was so far off. It's 142 feet off. 18th is right there. All right, here we go. 390 on the card, downhill about 60, so 330. Adjust that with uh, elevation. We got 300 yards ish to carry to the front of the green or the middle of the green. Let's go. Oh, I thinned it just a little bit. Hey, we're going to be able to find it. That's uh, step one. Man, I wish I would hit that one solid because I really think with the wind I could have got it at the front of the green, uh, which is hilarious. 390, oh yeah, I got the green. <laughs> anyway, but honestly, when you guys look up here, it is super narrow. There's cliffs everywhere, and just to get the ball in play, that's the real win, uh, let's be honest. But I want that drive back. Anyway, can I have get, get this up and down for birdie, walk off with a 32 like Jordan predicted, and go to the saddle and just dominate and break Wesley's course, course record over there, which I will explain in that video. Anywho. We got business to finish first here on the 18th hole at Old Edwards Club. Let's go. As I was saying, I mean, look at this. That is just, I mean, death is hazard. I mean, you hit it anywhere, not grass, you're there. And if you overhook it or just kind of pull it left, you're scared of going right, you go off the cliff over there. So really, the fact that I got it right here is a win. Um, and now we got about a 40 yard shot to get up and down for birdie. I'm either perfect or off the green. I don't know. People, will you get it back there? Yeah, there's no great camera angle to put. I didn't want to put it back there. Too much effort. The drone has limited battery. Oh yeah, we're back there. Pretty good shot too. And as you can see, that's where we teed off all the way back up there. And so really cool. Uh, as you can see, the, that's the whole front nine over there on that side. So hopefully next fall or next spring, I'll show you that side of the course. But in the meantime, this is the puffer birdie. Come on, Jordan, let's go. Yes. Let's go. 32 for me on this side, three under, just like Jordan said. He called it. Maybe we need to have him come in like predict the Wesley matches for me or something. Golly. Well, that's a good way to finish. That pumps me up. But guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you ever get a chance to play Old Edwards, this place is absolutely amazing. One of the most fun courses I've ever played. The game was really good today, too. I mean, honestly, aside from that one hiccup on number 16 where I kind of blocked in the hazard, a really good day. Now it's time to go to the saddle. Um, the part three course I'm gonna show you guys here in the coming days. But guys, until then, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more content like this video. We'll see y'all.